Here's how to get fresh animations 1.21.8 for Minecraft. Let's go. Okay, so the first step is to click the second link in the description that is going to put you in the fresh animation page. And over here, we're going to select game version 1.21.8. And if you don't see 1.21.8 just yet, we're going to select the 1.21.7 because as you will see in a second, it does work in 1.21.8. So let's go ahead and download the most recent version. Just hit download right here and it will download as a zip file. And don't worry, we're going to keep it as a zip file. Just go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. You can find this file here on your recent download history or within the default download download folder of your computer. Now, after you download Fresh Animations, we're also going to download EMF, the entity model filters. If you have downloaded Fresh Animations in the past, you know there's certain mods that you're going to need for this texture pack to work properly. Click on the third link in the description, that place you over here. Again, select game version 1.21.8, and then hit download right here for Fabric. Or if you're running NeoForge as a mod loader, you could download the NeoForge version, but I know most of us are using Fabric. And if you don't have either of those, don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to get one of those in just a second. But let's go ahead and download the Fabric one for this video. Hit download right here and we're also going to download ETF click on the fourth link I don't know they will all be labeled though and that put you in the entity texture filters which is the last mod that we need to download for fresh animations to work properly again select 1.21.8 and just like we did earlier select your mod version in this case we're going to use fabric let's go ahead and hit download as well and now we're going to place these two files that we just downloaded ETM as well as EMF into our desktop just go ahead and drag and drop them into here and now we have the two mods as well as the zip file at this moment if you already have fabric installed as a mod loader you can just add this mod mods into your mods folder and then just go ahead and add fresh animations into your resource packs in your computer but if you don't have fabric as a mod loader install then let's go ahead and do that next click on the fourth link is it now or fifth i mean they will all be labeled guys down in the description there's a section called links and all the links will always be provided in there and that will place you over here once you click on the fabric link this is a quick article on how to install fabric in case i go too fast in this video but if you want to make it a straight to the point just go now to step one and press fabric right here that redirects you over here where we're going to hit download universal jar and the download for the fabric installer will begin right away. We also have videos on the channel on how to install fabric in case I go too fast in this video. But once you download a fabric, now it's time to begin. First thing you want to do is make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher. And it's very important that you have played Minecraft 1.21.8 at least once on your computer. You don't have to do much, just open the game and close it, and then you are ready. Now let's go ahead and double click on the fabric installer and it should open just like this in here. And if it doesn't open like this, don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to get that working in just a second. But once it does open though, select 1.21.8 and hit install. And just like I was saying, if Fabric the installer didn't open, perhaps it opened as a web browser or a text document, or maybe it didn't even open at all. That's because you don't have Java 21, and Java 21 is a requirement when modding Minecraft, especially any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.21. Obviously, 1.21.8 is no exception. So I'm gonna leave you guys this link down in the description on how to install Java 21, but pretty much you just read through this article, you download the file, click next a couple of times, you will have Java working, thus it will let you open the Fabric installer and any other mod that you want for the game later on. Now, once Fabric has finished installing, you're going to go ahead and press OK. We're going to close the installer and we're going to delete the Fabric installer from our desktop because we don't need that anymore. Now it's time to add the mod as well as the zip file or fresh animations into the game. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And of course, while the Minecraft launcher opens, if you want to support the channel and get a great deal with Epic Sourcing, use the first link in the description and get 25% off your own Minecraft server. They support over 200 mod packs. It's actually over 300, but they haven't updated it in here. They have locations all around the world. You could install Fabric, Forge, whatever mod loader. You could do anything really with Apex Hosting. And again, you'll be supporting the channel if you use that first link in the description and you'll get a great deal yourself. Now, this is only for a limited time deal. So if I were you, I would really hurry up and get that discount. Now, let's get back into the tutorial. As we can see, the Minecraft launcher has already opened. And since we installed Fabric, we should have it selected here automatically. And if you don't have it in here, don't worry. We're going to get that going in just a second. Now, we're not going to hit play just yet because we still need to add the mods. For that, we're going to head over to installations. And in here, we need to select modded right here. Without modded, as you can see, fabric won't show up so go ahead and select modded if you still don't see fabric in here you can press on new installation and then under instances just search up for fabric in there but once you got fabric added in here you're going to hover over it and you're going to press where it says open installations folder that is going to open the minecraft installations folder and there is a lot of files in here but we are looking for one folder called mods my mods folder is right here but perhaps you don't have one and i went ahead and deleted mine to teach you what to do if you don't have one if you don't have a mods folder right here all you have to do is create a new folder select new select folder and name it mods M-O-D-S. So yeah, you could create the mods folder yourself. Now go ahead and open the mods folder app, probably empty by this point. And what we have to do now is add those two jar files or those two mods that we downloaded earlier. Just drag and drop them from your desktop. Don't add the zip file into here, just the mods. Now, if you're going to be adding any other mods into Fabric, just make sure they are compatible with Fabric as well as 1.21.8. And of course, with the already mods that you already added in here, the existing mods you already added in here. Now, once you added the mods in here, you could close this folder and it's time to add fresh animations to the game.
game. For that, head back to your Minecraft launcher and hit play right next to Fabric. If you get a prompt, once you click on Fabric, it's only going to show up for the first time. Read through it and if you agree, hit play one more time. Now, once the game opens, it's time to add fresh animations, but let's go ahead and launch a world just so we could test fresh animations out as we add it into the game. Again, if you want to do this on a multiplayer server, you can. Just make sure you own your own server and you can do that using the first link in the description. Very good that we're right next to a village. We're going to go ahead and add fresh animations. So what you want to do is actually press escape, head over towards his options and then click on resource packs right here. Now you probably don't have all these resource packs that I already have. Yours is probably empty on here on the left side, but we're going to have fresh animations anyways. Now what you want to do is make your game a little bit smaller and also you can see your desktop and also you can see the zip file that we downloaded on the first step and then just go ahead and drag and drop it into the game. You're going to get this prompt in here, read through it and then click yes. And then fresh animations should show up here on the left side. As you can see, I have a couple of them because I have made this video in the past, but you probably only have one of them. And what you want to do is go ahead and hit play or or hit this arrow button in here that will put it on the selected side and if you ever want to take it off guys just come back into this menu and send it back to the left side okay like unselected and then once you add it in here click done give it a couple seconds for it to load and now we should have fresh animations working in minecraft 1.21.8 and like i said it's great that we're right next to a village because if we look at this guy right here and he doesn't want to look at me if we look at this guy in here there we go we have the crazy eyes we have the funny eyes that fresh animations brings us and then you guys have it how to add fresh animations to minecraft 1.21.8 if this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.